G'day guys, Marcus here. Welcome back to another episode. In this one, I'm gonna do a review of my new Oz tent, the RV3. So if you've been following the uh, channel, you would have seen in the last few episodes up at Cape York, I've been using a tent. I'll let you guys know why I've decided to go to a tent, but um, I'm gonna do a bit of a, a review and show you guys through the, through the tent. It's friggin' awesome. I've only used it a handful of times, as you know. So anyway, I'm gonna um, get the tent down from the top of the car. I'll get all these bloody flies to give me a hand. <laughs> Let's get into it. Right, so I've got it down from on top of the car. Bear in mind, guys, it is two metres in length, so you will need a fair bit of real estate in terms of lengthwise um, upstairs if that's where you're going to put the tent. So that it is probably one negative, that it is quite long. Uh, one thing I should point out, guys, is that um, it's sold as the 30-second tent. So a little bit like my awning. I like things that uh, go up pretty quick. So uh, you just grab it out of the bag. Now, one thing you're gonna notice, I'll just bring this camera over. When you bring it out on the ground, you'll notice this little tongue, the bottom of the floor. So just a handy tip where you see that, that V shape of the floor point that in direction that you want to um, have your front door open up. But look, having said that, it's that light, you can move this around very, very easily. So, but anyway, that's what you need to do, is have that little tongue pointing where you want the um, tent to open up. I call it the, th I think it's 30 seconds. I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure it's the 30 second. It takes 30 seconds. So let's start now. It will most likely take me a little bit longer, but you basically fold that out. Probably will take me a little longer. Open this up, open the fly. Then you reach in here, you grab hold of a bar that's inside of here. Can't really see what I'm doing at the moment, but I'll show you in a sec. That's it, 30 seconds. Okay, so we'll go for a walk around the exterior of the tent first. So um, first up at the front, there is an awning that goes along here and that does um, roll out. There's a couple of additional poles that you can put on the front to give yourself some shelter if you wish. I don't think I will use that. A couple of flaps here, they've got some ventilation or a window if you wanna call it that. The canvas that it's made out of, it's really, really good quality and it's a, uh, a ripstop poly cotton canvas. I think it's 80 ounce. That's the, uh, the texture of it there. But basically there you've got the fly screen and that external zipper. As we come around, there's a logo here. Um, what's pretty unique with this is it's got four tie down points if you want extra stability in high wind. These have their own pocket, which is pretty handy. You don't have to um, attach them. They're already attached. And as I said, in strong winds, you could put those guy ropes down. Come around the back here, you can um, see the pitch of the tent. So the internal height, I think, is about 1.9 metres up at this high point. We'll take a look when we go inside, and it's about probably about 1.5 metres down here. Um, also, what's uh, pretty, pretty handy here, you can open this back window, and then if it is raining, So that there opens up guys and these um, these ropes are already tied to the back of this little awning part and if you wanted to you could put that out and set up some some pegs to get good ventilation and obviously um, if it was raining you're not going to get water but a very very large window in the rear and the other side there's another uh, guy rope here in a pocket pretty uh, Nice and organized. There's another window here on the side, identical one on the other side. Up the top there, another guy rope, neat and tidy in that little pocket. And um, also down here, it has quite a thick, durable PVC floor. And as you can see, that comes up about 150 mil. So um, that's a pretty nice feature as well. Again, there are um, pegs on each corner. Um, I haven't put the pegs down since I've used it. 
So when we come inside here, so it's about 1.9 metres in height, and I think it's about 1.2, 1.5 over here. Uh, when I came in before, this is what I was manoeuvring to get the tent up. So there's uh, a couple of aluminium struts here. If I push this down, the whole tent's gonna start to fall down or collapse. But you basically lock that into position there. There's a little Velcro strap, and you just need to tie that on there. Then that's not gonna go past and fall down on you. And then it is the exact same on this other side. And then you put that little strap on there. So the windows in here, there are three big windows. One on each side, so one there, another one here. And then of course, you've got the large rear window. But just to, in terms of uh, space, so as I said, about 1.9 high, so you can easily stand up there. And um, it's about two meters by 2.4 meters in, uh, in, in width and length. So it's called the RV3, saying it's meant for possibly three people. Um, however, I wouldn't suggest maybe three adults in here would be crammed, but certainly you could do two adults in here without a doubt. Um, certainly two adults and a small small child, I don't think you'd have a problem with. Hey guys, I'm just going to interrupt the video real quick. So when I was doing the video yesterday, I forgot to mention a couple of things. So obviously with a, a separate tent, you can't have the mattress and your sleeping bag all rolled up into one like you do with a swag. So it is one of the cons, but for me, it's a pretty small con. So I went out and bought a, um, a Zempire Monster Mat or Mon Z Zempire Self-Inflating Mattress. I forget the exact name, but it's it's a Zempire Monster Mat, I think, and I paid about $250, $260 for that. So self-inflating, open up the valve, and it puffs up to about 100 mil thick. I bought the King Single one, and then um, you just squash all that air out when you're done and roll that up in the back of your car here. So, And obviously a sleeping bag, they're pretty small. So they're two things that you do need to um, pack separately, obviously. Um, and in terms of cost for the actual tent, I didn't let you know that either. So they are about $1,100 for the RV3. Three being for supposedly three people. You can get an RV4 and an RV5. They're obviously larger tents four people, five people. But as I said just before, uh, I think the RV3, super enough room for myself. You certainly could do two adults or two adults and a small child. Anyway, back to the video. So this is all obviously aluminium uh, framing here. It's very lightweight. The whole tent weighs about 20 to 22 kilos or so. And um, when it's packed up, it um, it's about two meters long by about 250 mil wide, give or take. Throw, throw some footage in there when we're on the when we did the Cape trip when I was using the tent for the first time. I nudged the back of this tent up to the back of my awning. So when it rained overnight, um, basically this kind of acted as a uh, as I guess one of those awning walls that you put on your on your awning, which is pretty handy. Just real quick, the reasons why I decided to ditch the swag. So basically, I started to feel a little bit claustrophobic in the swag, and I'm getting a little older now. And uh, I just found it difficult, you know, having to get up to the, run to the loo, you know, two, sometimes three or four times through the night. So yeah, just was finding it a little bit cramped in the swag. You can't sit up and feeling a bit uncomfortable. So I've still got my swag and still might use it. So there we have it. Now I'll show you how you wrap it up and get it back in the bag. It's pretty, pretty easy. So basically I come inside here. I drop each arm. That's basically it. Then, I'll just zip up, make sure the uh, windows are closed, obviously. Okay, zip that up, basically it. And then to fold it, there's a, an, actually a letter A here and a letter B on the other side. And I, I forget which is which. You move A out first, B out second. When you're closing it, or vice versa when you're opening it. But anyway, grab one of the corners here. It does take a little bit longer to pack up. But basically, this is it. That's the uh, where the entrance was, where that PVC flooring is. I'll just grab the bag.
I'll just fold this up here like that. I'm out of bloody breath here. The bag's pretty generous, but I find it just helps to throw your knee on it. She's back in the bag. Good to go back on the roof. I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Oz 10 RV3. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys.